welcome to our very first devlog video. We started porting our indie game Project Saki from Unity over to Godot. We were lucky to make this decision early in development, so the switch wasn't as painful as it could have been. All of our sprites and tile maps for the tutorial section already existed, so we didn't have to redo any art. Instead, the real challenge came from learning how to recreate everything inside a brand new game engine setting up physics and collision, figuring out animation tools, and rewriting our scripts using the Godot language. Before diving into the process, we wanted to briefly mention why we chose Godot. Godot is completely open source, lightweight, flexible, and free. A lot of the tutorials available were slightly outdated. I'm on Godot 4.5.1, and even though many videos used Godot 4, the interface and options had changed just enough to be confusing. So I spent a lot of time researching outside the videos and figuring things out through documentation, trial, and error. But of course, fixing one issue revealed another. The idle animation stopped working. After a long stretch of experimenting, I discovered that the walking Blend Space 2D needed to be set to discrete. With movement and animation finally working the way we wanted, the next step was to rebuild the dojo so Saki had an actual environment instead of walking around in an empty void. I created a tile map layer, made a tile set using all of the dojo tiles, the floors, walls, ceiling borders, and everything, and redrew the dojo to match our Unity version. And with that, Saki had a place to explore again. This wraps up our first devlog. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow us to stay updated on our journey as we continue rebuilding Saki inside Godot.